Hello and welcome to OneStream's newest version tutorial video. Sit tight and let's get started. Introducing Stable Version 2.0.6 Change Log Added Rebuild Tables after the server deleted. Now when a server is deleted we rebuild the IP tables automatically. Added prompt to do backup before update. Now when updating the panel version you will be presented with an additional button giving you the opportunity of creating a backup before proceeding with the update. Remove delete button from credit history logs. We have removed the delete action from the credit history logs to avoid any intervention with the logs in the system. Auto rebuild file cache. The cache will now by default rebuild when turned on. This will benefit you as you will no longer need to do it manually after making changes to your content. Added upload file to tickets. We have added the option for your resellers and panel administrators to exchange pictures and PDF files over the built-in ticketing system in our panel. Added statistics and graphics based on credit history. We have added statistics based on your credit history on our platform to display a summary for them giving you the top 50 profitable packages in credits, the top 50 spent credits by users and more. Added Autoscale to Mass Edit Streams We have added TH Autoscale setting to our Mass Edit Streams page to ease its setup. Added option to restart stream when bitrate above limit. A new setting is added in the stream advanced setting to allow you to set a restart point for a stream when exceeding the preset values for maximum bitrate. Showing revert button to all RCs until the last stable version. We have changed the logic behind the number of available versions to revert. Now no matter of the number of RC versions released you will always be able to jump from the last official to the previous one. Change default main workers from 90% LB, 10% BO to 80% LB and 20% BO. We have changed the proportion of workers when the suggested values are calculated in order to improve the efficiency when managing the panel from the back office. Translations, Packages, Subresellers we have extracted the translation keys from the packages and subresellers pages so they can be translated to other languages. Added settings for Nginx rate limits and whitelist IPs on Nginx level. We have added an option for you to manage the Nginx rate limits from the edit server forms and set them on the servers. You will also be able to whitelist a given IP for the scope of Nginx limit request zone. This will allow you to whitelist your servers and make sure the limit will not restrict them. Added setting to fetch longer period EPG in time shift. This new setting will allow you to extend the time for which the panel will provide an electronic program guide EPG to the end users when they are rewinding from a live channel back to its archive on the Stalker player. Stalker 5.6.1 Improvement for Jump Backwards and Jump Forward Buttons We have improved the behavior of the buttons Jump Backwards and Jump Forward available on some remote controls. They will now take the users at the start of the show according to the EPG timeline. Updates Smart STB Proxies List we have added the missing Smart STB proxies and removed the ones that Smart STB no longer uses from their application. Added option to start multiple Redis instances. The addition of this feature allows you to add Redis instances from the back office that enable you to distribute Redis tasks across multiple instances. 
this enhancement offers a range of advantages. UI Improvement React Tables Density We have improved the table density on all React pages aiming to eliminate the horizontal scroll on the pages and optimize the view on the pages. You will notice the data is more compactly displayed. UI Improvements Add Slash Edit Server We started optimizing some of our pages and make them more intuitive to manage. You will now see a refined create and edit form for servers. UI Improvements Add Slash Edit Line This is the new add and edit page for line creation aiming to be more compact and easier to navigate throughout the page. And now we have our user interface improvements list. Settings. Mass edit episodes. Manage subresellers. Auto subscription messages. Hues. Stream Stats Log React Tables Top Bar Improved for Mobile Download Line Modal for Mobile RTMP Security Blacklist Whitelist Bug Fixes Fixed Embedded Lines Not Showing on Manage Lines Fixed Download Modal on Manage Lines Not Working as Before Fixed Cannot Edit Series Without TMDB Fixed Video Redirect Not Working Fixed Error on Security Log When Server Deleted Fixed Cannot Clear Without Category in Edit Series Fixed Sidebar for Provider Fixed Translations Fetching Twice Fixed Saving Backup Settings Error Fixed migrated series missing created underscore at. Fixed stalker nginx cache not using time zone. Fixed issue with on demand. Fixed XC API error for series without episodes with file cache. Fixed error when saving stream with archive. Fixes in stalker 5.6.1 time shift. Fixed cannot reorder stream sources on mobile. Fixed VOD select pick default lang not working. Fixed FPS is sometimes not calculated correctly. Thank you for watching this one stream showcase tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful future content and get your license today on onestream.com.